Number 20. Which of the following gases is expected to be the most soluble in water? And then explain your reasoning. And then we have like a multiple choice question minus letter D. So now we've just increased our percentage from maybe one in four percent shot of one in three, right? So we got a 33% chance of getting the question correct, but we will get it correct, right? So we know 100% certainty that we will get it right. But anyway, let's go for it. Now we just want to find out which of these gases is going to be the most soluble in water. And there's a saying in chemistry that like dissolves in like. Now there's two types of substances um, in, in chemistry, especially in covalent uh, compounds, that if you have a polar substance, you will dissolve in other polar substances. But if you have a nonpolar, nonpolar goes with nonpolar. The idea here is that if you have a nonpolar substance, it will not dissolve in a polar one. And if you have a polar substance, it will not dissolve in a nonpolar one. So these two, nonpolar and polar, they do not match. They want to be with their like kind, right? Their like species. So the first thing is, well, what is water, right? Is water polar or nonpolar? Well, water is H2O. And if I do draw out the Lewis structure, water would look like this. Oxygen in the middle, surrounded by a single bond and a single bond, and two lone pairs. Now, if you're asking, how did I get this? There's tons of videos on the channel just designated to teaching you how to draw the Lewis structures. Um, so we go step by step with those. So you could always find those videos and, you know, I'll be there every step of the way. But in this case, here's the water, right? And if I split it down this way, I clearly have some type of asymmetry. I have lone electrons on the top, but I have hydrogens on the bottom, right? You could kind of split it as like a pizza. If all four corners are exactly the same, that would be nonpolar. That means that it's symmetrical. But if you have corners that are different, like in this case, where I have the electrons on the top and the H on the bottom, this is asymmetrical. And that means that this species is polar. And, you know, for chemistry, uh, water is a huge component in a lot of topics. So it would probably just be easier to memorize that H2O is polar. But anyway, if like dissolves in like, and now we know that polar, you know, water is polar, what type of compound is going to be the most soluble? Yeah, you got it. It's polar ones because they want to go together. So now the question is, which one out of these three is polar? Well, in comes the Lewis structures, right? We can always draw the Lewis structures for these three, CH4, CCl4, and then CHCl3, just to see which are symmetrical or which one is asymmetrical. So if I drew out CH4, carbon in the middle, surrounded by four hydrogens, which are all single bound. That's your Lewis structure for that one. If I draw CCl4, carbon in the middle, surrounded by the four chlorines. And if we go so far as to make this official, all the chlorines should have six dots around them to get the octet on the chlorine. So maybe I'll just take a little bit more time, just draw the dots. And there you go for that one. And then for CHCl3, carbon in the middle, surrounded by three chlorines. And it does not matter which three sides you pick, but the other side just has to be the hydrogen. Hydrogen can only have the one bond, so it stays like that, but all the chlorines need to still have those six. And now we can think of it as cutting that pizza into four slices. Zoom. All right? Doo doo. And doo doo. If you are completely symmetrical and all your slices are exactly the same, it's a nonpolar compound. So, for example, Here's my four slices of pizza. 
and they're all hydrogens. Symmetrical all around, this would be a nonpolar molecule. This one again, I have all my four slices of pizza, they're all chlorine, it's literally all the same, so this is also nonpolar. CHCl3, though, you have three slices of pizza that's chlorine and one pepperoni. Right? Who likes pepperoni? I don't. Do you? I, I, I love a good olive pizza, right? Mm, that's my favorite. But anyway, in this case, you got three slices that are the same and one that is not. This is polar. So which of the following gases is expected to be the most soluble? Like goes with like, polar goes with polar. So you got it. It is the CHCl3. Final answer, boxing that off. We got it 100% correct. And that is the answer for this question. Love multiple choice. Um, there you go. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I love helping you guys out, and I hope these videos are helping you. Stick with the videos. I'm here every step of the way for you guys. I really want you to do well. Um, and you rock. Thanks for being part of the community, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.